So I'm really bummed out. My little buddy, he's struggling. I'm not even sure if he's going to make it to the night. I noticed he was starting to not be as active a couple days ago. I, today I just put him down to a basic cage again. He had his nice, he had his, um, I had him in my, I had him in this forever. He used to run up and down, he used to go up here and eat and do all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, just in the, like the last few days, all of a sudden I noticed he wasn't really moving, so I put all his food down there. And then today, when I was, when I went to see him this morning, he was pretty much, I've had him three, four or five years, my little buddy. Probably not that long, only three years, but he's just kind of struggling. He lost some weight, he's not really eating. Really bummed out. These guys are fun, but then they don't, they, after a while, they just, not sure. I lost my furry, my furry hamster a few months ago. I was really bummed out. He's been, this one's been really active just now. He stopped. He's struggling. So I try to get him in a nice little, comfortable little case, cage for the, for the rat, for remainder of his little time. His eyes is watering. So I got his food here. I put him in a really, really small cage now. A little fresh water. I put some actually put some water over there for him. Try to get him to get a little bit of water. Make sure you get a little water, buddy. I try to get him to get a little bit of water in him. But I haven't been able to get him to do that. So I'll just guy basically with these guys as soon as they once I ID that all of a sudden something's something's up, then I'll just kinda get him as comfortable as possible. Hey, my friend yeah you've been a fun little buddy these guys are great but it's always so sad like anything else any pets even the little guys is very sad after a while when something happens yeah i'm really having fun in that, that big cage i had in the rocket ship he was loving it in there but he's just so we'll keep an eye on him I got him down to this little cage here i can let him dig into a little get him uh, so we can get some we get nice and comfortable for him Right, we'll get you all nice and comfortable. So that's my sad day today for me. Okay, my little buddy's on his last little. I've got this white one, and then I've had him, and I have another white one in here, who's also been doing really good. He's inside one of these tubes. He goes in that tube, that tube, that tube, and he can jump up and down. So I gotta keep an eye on him. But these used to, I bought both of these two guys together. Both of the two white hamsters were in the same cage, but then when I put them in the cage together, this one was beating up on this one. See a couple, so I had to separate them. And then he's been great by himself. Then he's just really struggling now. Rest in peace, my little buddy. So he's still got a little bit of life in him, not much, but a little bit. So I'm just keeping an eye on him, get him comfortable, make sure all his food and everything's right in front of him now. I see he's got a little bit of, he's got a little kick in him. Make your bed up there, little buddy. I'll put this over here so you can make your bed. Make your bed under there for your friend. There you go. He always likes the tunnel, so. I'll make sure he's got a lot of tunnel going on over here. So we can get some sleep. So. He likes the tunnel there. So that's my sad news for the day. But we got him all as comfortable as possible. That's all I can really do with these guys. And, you know, they're fun, but their life cycle is pretty short. Three, maybe three years. You could do everything you can possibly do for them. I give them lettuce at night. She always change the water twice a day. Always getting food changed all the time. So everything I can possibly do for my little buddies, I try to do. Yeah, my bird over there. I've had my bird for a few years. Hi, right, little buddy. Yeah, he's always making noise. Yeah. So these guys are great. They're, they depend on you 110 percent. So you always got to be helping them out. You know, cause, but like I said, once you realize that something's up, then I had to get him out of that big cage because he's gonna needs to be able to get to somewhere a little bit smaller. Looks like a little hospice kind of set up here just for him. So he's got some extra water here. So if you can't get to this water, you should be able to get to this. He knows it's there. You can just keep an eye on him. Yeah. And, uh, beast. and he's he's another white one and my Mr. Bear up here. He's been great. Keep an eye on him. And then I have my my bird over there. I got this bird for one dollar. They had an overpopulation at the pet store. So they had to get rid of them. 
I actually had two. I first got them. One didn't make it. And but this guy, he's been he's been with me for uh, three or four years now. Right, little buddy. He makes pretty noises. He won't do it. He's camera shy. Though. I can't even get him to do it. And he's right here. Why is that a camera shy? Right. Oh, oh yeah. he got enough room to jump around. I wish I had. A, I try to get the biggest cage I could find for him. I clean it out all the time because he's a poop head. I gotta clean that stick again. Right, little buddy? Yeah, that's my little buddy. Is that a pretty boy? Is he a pretty boy? Is that, is that a pretty boy? Like, I can see it, do you know? Yes, I see. I see my pretty boy. All right, my pretty boy.